Hi and welcome to my splits training. I am not the most flexible of people. I did used to be when I was a world and UK dance champion. Um, I was very flexible. Flexibility takes a very long time to come. It does take a long time to leave you. However, if like me, your flexibility has been lost, it then takes a long time for it to come back. Once I have it, it will take a long time to go again. So splits training for me is because I am not very good at the splits and that's why I need to do the training for it. If you're very good at splits, just make sure that you keep on top of it as much as you can. And welcome to my YouTube channel. I just wanna say, please could you like and subscribe and share. The reason for that is because um, I have a very small following. It is a new YouTube channel. It'd be really good if I could get my followers up. And this is free, so it's not a lot, a lot to ask for your free video today. So my name's April. It's lovely to say hi. And please make sure that if you do have a yoga trapeze, you check your carabiners are locked. Make sure your loading's okay for your weight and that it's safe. Try not to do any tricks that you are, have never done before. Only push yourself as far as you can go because you're only um, against yourself. You're not against anybody else. It is a yoga trapeze, so it's quite low. Don't have it too high, it's not aerial. If you are doing this in the aerial hammock, you will find that you'll be able to flexibility more because aerial hammocks are a lot more bendier and stretchier than these are, which are parachute material. So they hardly move really within your flexibility, style and strength. Um, make sure you check with a practitioner before you actually uh, do any kind of exercise that uh, has a medical background or your doctor and don't just go into it straight away. Okay, splits take a long time. I'm a bit rubbish at them and that's why I'm doing the splits training today. So if you wanna join in with me, you are very welcome. Very, very important that you warm up first. So we're just gonna do a little bit of a warm up. Thank you. Okay, so I'm just going to get myself into warm up. I'm just going to stretch out my body. So I've got my main sling just where my bra strap is. Just going to stretch out and then take myself back. I have eaten a lot over Christmas and drank a lot. And about for like the last three weeks or so, I think it's a lockdown it makes me want to eat and the cold. So I am trying my best to have 1,300 calories a day. My macros are really accounted for so that I'm trying to get only 25% carbs to get rid of my belly fat. Um, and I have got a Facebook page, April's Health Journey. You are very welcome to join the group if you're on your own personal health journey because I have been uh, there before I will get my abs back and I will get my body back to where it was. It will just take time. I understand that. My own fault. You know what they say about fridge pickers and big knickers. And that's me. <laughs> Widen your feet and just bend to your right. Knee to elbow. Try to keep your heel on the floor. Quite difficult in some position. Keep going. Just give yourself a bit of a warm up. Go a little bit faster. Ooh. Okay, take the whole of your rig and take yourself all the way around. I have to wash, watch my washing machine at the back. I'm in my garage and it's absolutely freezing in here, even though I've had the heating on. My, my heating was £400. My bill was £400. I can't believe it, just for December. So I'm going to have a chat with him on Monday. I live in a little dollhouse. It's absolutely not worth my earth. I've spent that much. I must have done, mustn't I? Right, we're going backwards and forwards. We're literally just warming up, guys. I'm not doing anything special. Make sure your elbows are always out so you're not falling over. Bend. Just a little bit of a warm up for my body because I am shivering with the cold, because it's so cold in here. Whole rig, let's go around. Oh, yay. Whee! 
<laughs> you know, I decided to become a teacher because I've been doing aerial for about six years, doing pole, being part of all that community, and I loved it. And then I went on holiday, I bought myself a yoga trapeze from Yoga Body for pounds, would you believe? So it was buy it for a pound for a month, and then you can pay the rest if you like it. So I thought, well, I'll go on, then I'll try it. And when I was on holiday, I've put my feet in the bottom. I've taken these clips up. It's not really an instruction video. You're just watching me, and you're very welcome to join in. And I'm just sitting back on my bottom and stretching out my legs here. And then I'm going to take them in and out. And you can hold these if you want to, or hold this. So yeah, so I bought a yoga trapeze from Yoga Body for a pound. And then I thought, right, I'll take it on holiday with me. So I took it on holiday with me and I was teaching the children how to do a little bit of aerial gymnastic in it really, not so much yoga. And, um, and they said, you should be a teacher. And everybody was saying, you're amazing, you should be a teacher. So, because I'd done it for six years, aerial gymnastics, aerial yoga, um, I did hoop and lyra, aerial yoga, hammock, even tried rope, quite possibly the hardest thing I've ever done, um, and bend your legs. And I then decided, right, okay, I'll do the teacher training for it. So, I got in touch with Spain and um, did my teacher training, and the rest is history. And then I opened my studio in February last year, 2019, um, sorry, 2020, so this year, wasn't it? And uh, as soon as I opened my studio, we went into lockdown. So that was, that was that. That was quickly over, 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 over. Um, so I have private studios, private clients that come to a studio that I hire in North Wales in the UK and I have them come in, have a couple of classes in the Prestatin, have my bar online classes. I used to be our UK and world dance, champ, dance champion, sorry. Um, so I have that under my belt. And then just bring it back up to your waist here so you're flat. Okay, and just bend your legs in and out, okay? Just to warm up your legs. Um, so yeah, so I was a dance champion, so I did bar fitness um, classes and then I decided to get my full licence with the International Bar Ballet uh, Association of Fitness, so I'm licensed with them, okay, just take yourself back and stretch and um, I decided to do that, so I do those online classes. Um, which I love, put your soles of your feet together and then just dip your knees just to warm up your hips. Um, so I did that. So I have both of those teaching qualifications. I completed my mat-based yoga qualifications. Just quickly dip your knees just to get yourself warm. Okay, hold your feet flat and put your heels together so you're closer and then pull back. And if you can, grab your heels to give yourself a stretch. Um, so yeah, I'm mat based level three yoga. I am a yoga trapeze teacher, as you know. I'm a bar fitness licensed teacher. Um, take yourself out. Um, I'm also doing my Tai Chi. Um, Gong, which is all about your energy and your chi. Um, and then on top of that, um, I'm doing some business qualifications because I have a day job as well. Although I'd love this to be my day job, but life didn't go that way, did it? Okay, so my knees over the main swing, front foot is flexed, I'll pull my toes and forwards just to give myself a stretch. So yeah, so, um, Life didn't quite turn out how I expected it to turn out. I'm going to point my toe to give myself a bigger stretch and then flex, front and flex. Go backwards a little bit on the balls of my toes. Bring my arms through. Um, yeah, I think life can change for a lot of people. There's a lots of people 
who um, take my arms back. There are lots of people who started a business this year and have lost it. So um, we've got to just go with what's meant to be, haven't we? Okay, so clean my foot round at the front and the back. This is a flexibility for split rather than a yoga class, okay? Um, I'm going to bring it to my ankle and bring myself round. I'm going to use the middle handles rather than the top handles, which is a different way to do this, okay? So that I can give it a bigger stretch and lower my body a bit more. Okay, and then bend my knee and push into that stretch. So yeah, for me, let's do that again. It's just a matter of getting my fitness level back up after lockdown because I really have done nothing but eat and sit down. <laughs> um, even though I do classes every night, you know, you can't uh, think to yourself, oh, I'm all right. I'm all right to, uh, to eat because I'm doing classes. Okay, so I've got the top handle, I've turned myself around. And I'm going to bend into this and stretch out my arm as well. And then stretch my leg and push across and just hang. Can you see I'm pushing into it to try and get myself a bit of a stretch? So yeah, I think we've just got to understand that sometimes stay there. Life changes, life changes and that's it. And we've just got to go with it, haven't we? Um, like I said, it's not really class, it's just me watching me do my stretching and talking rubbish, basically. Come up. You know, a few years ago, well, I'm saying a few years ago, it was a long time ago, that on the side, I um, had thyroid cancer, I've got a, a scar here. Um, as a child, I couldn't have children. I ended up with two lovely children who are now grown ups. My daughter's 24, my son's 25. I'm going to point and flex my foot in this position. Um, and they're both settled and know what they're doing. My son's a little bit lost, but uh, he's just come back from uni. And I think a lot of the uni students are lost this year because they don't know what to do, do they? And I don't blame them either to be a bit lost because aren't the rest of us as well, do you know? Um, I mean, I don't know how you lot are doing. I'd imagine we're all around about the same, aren't we? Um, you know, it's just, just life, isn't it? For everybody. Um, a lot of us started in business and then it's had to stop, hasn't it? And for people like me, there was no help from the government. So I didn't get, I'm gonna give this on a bigger stretch because this is my worst leg. I didn't, I didn't get any help from the government or any assistance. Um, I didn't qualify. <laughs> so, you know, I had to find a job. So I work full time, nine to five. And then I do this as often as I can um, every night six till seven and then six till eight if I've got any privates and now and again I'll do a Saturday or a Sunday until I can build, build my business again because like everybody else we've all ended up in debt because of it haven't we so it's horrible but there you go I'm going to pull this one down because this is my worst leg I'll bring it up okay so let's do some uh, Let's see how we get on with that. So I've took this to my ankle, get myself in the middle. I'm not very flexible today, so I'll we'll see. Okay, inhale, on my toes, exhale forwards. And then go down on the exhales. Up. Yeah, I think uh, if you want to join me on my journey to lose this 
belly fat that I can now put. Proper jelly as well. And it's not good, you know, when you're in the mirror and you turn and you see all this back fat. <laughs> for me, it's not good. I've always been on the tinier side. So for me to have this is not good. For other people, I mean, I'm not saying everybody should be skinny and thin. I'm not. For me, it's how I am. Um, I mean, you know, I saw a girl that used to train me on the pole. She's beautiful body, beautiful, very voluptuous. And she could do walkovers and splits and everything else. Much fitter than I was. But for me, that type of body doesn't sit well with me. And I think that's because I used to be a dancer. Um, so I'm used to that kind of skinnier, being on this skinnier side. And skinny is the word because it's not, it's not thin. Um, the skinnier side of me makes me feel better. Um, but it's not for everybody. But flexibility is very important, no matter how big or small you are. Um, a lot of people are a lot more flexible than I am. And um, yeah, and they're, they're, they don't want to be like me with no belly fat. I want to get back to having my abs. Um, and in order to do that, I have to cut out my carbs, watch my macros, do a little bit of um, training. Okay, so I'm taking myself backwards. I'm just sitting in. Okay. Um, yeah, I just need to just cut out my carbs a little bit. Um, and I'm going to try and get my flexibility back to some kind of normality if I can. I'm going to hold the top handles and drop just to stretch myself out. Okay, and then take my legs wide to push it out here. And legs wide to push it out the other way and then drop onto my knee. Okay. So it's amazing what we do, don't we, to do some split strength. <laughs> okay, I'll come the other way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna sit in it now because I'm gonna put invert. You can either invert from a straddle um, or invert from your seat. I actually might invert from a straddle. Okay, so take it back to the middle, back, okay? Make sure you're sitting in it. Up, straddle your legs backwards, pull them down. If you can leave go, do so. Pull my legs down and put one in. And hook it. I'm going to hold onto my handles as I take one leg back. And then I'm going to hook in the other one and do the same on this one as it goes through the middle to take it back. Okay, then I'm going to take it forward and hold and pull it down. The things we do, put my other leg back in and then take it down and pull. Okay. Climb up one side, take my legs through and pull forwards. And then climb further up. Uh, yeah, we've just got to adjust. We're really aware of our surroundings and who we are. To get into what we want to do and who we want to be. And get our energies right. Where it's important that you're happy in your own body and your own skin. And that's all to do with energy as well. So I'm taking the main swing out. Um, I do have proper lessons, you know. I do have proper lessons, I'm not just... Like today, I'm messing about a bit. Okay. I don't like putting my feet on these handles because they hurt my feet. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna do some twizzes with my legs. So I'm holding the uh, one at the front, okay? The top one. I'm just gonna pull my leg around, give it a stretch. Back around. As you can see, I don't have much room here. I've got my bars there for when I do my online bar classes. Okay, I'm just going to take myself forward. Let's try and get out so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to have to do, I'll do it this way and then you can see what I'm doing. It does pull you sideways, so you're going to have to push your body out in order that you can grab this. And then let your arms go straight. So you're splitting, and if you can, take your back leg further out to give it a bigger split. And then bend it all in, set yourself up. It's a good thing about these is that you're able to rely on them um, to get you up and down. You've already got upper body strength, I have a video for upper body strength if you want to follow that and have a look at it. Um, I think the thing about the yoga trapeze, more than the aerial, is that you have these handles um, and it makes such a difference. Because I have really sleepy, soft hands, so when I used to do aerial, <laughs> I used to always end up slipping out with my hands because my hands are so kind of my hands are so soft. Let's move over so you can see what I'm doing. It will move you about a bit because that's the nature of the handles and that's good because it just stretches it all out a little bit more. Okay. <laughs> see when you're messing about in the garage. Right, okay. Let's try a bigger split now. Okay. So down. I'm not far off, am I? At all. And the other side. Little handles. This leg's the worst leg. Okay. And then stand up. In here, so put one foot in one side. One foot in the other side. Holding the top handles and split. Take yourself down as far as you can go. Yay. So isn't it weird how on the floor it's much harder to split? And it is in the air, because look, I've got a split in the air. But I can't get a split on the floor. It's just something to do with the, with the way um, gravity works, obviously. Okay, so I'm going to try and do a split in the front and hold the back. Okay, let's go. I don't have the ability to move much in here. Take it now. Maybe if I can swap. Oh no, it won't work that way because of my courage. I don't have much room in here. I'm just putting it in the little sock. See? And then split it up. I'm taking my foot flat. I move my legs in the right place. Okay. Okay. I'm hoping I can get into this high handle. We will see. <laughs> this should be interesting. I have done this before, but not for a while. Okay, so I'm in the high handle on one side. Can you see? Okay. Just gonna pull it across to pull my leg wider. Hello doggy, what are you doing? 
Okay. And now I'm going to put my foot and the handle on the other side. I'll swap over so you can see what I'm doing. You have to have flexibility anyway to get in this. Come on, you can do it, April. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's try the other side. Yes. <laughs> that, that doesn't even make sense, does it? How does that even make sense that I can get in one side and not on the other? I'll pull it into a split. Oh, God. That hurts. Give myself a little bit of Right, let's try that split again. Okay, so right hand side first. I think I'm getting further down this time. Yep. Ow, 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 ow. That's the dog if you're wondering who's making it or not. On the other side. This one I'm not as low down. I am getting there though, aren't I? Okay. Ooh. So, I'm going to pull myself up. One, two, four. Down the dog. And up. Shots back. Shots forward. Well, thank you very much for sitting in my ramblings. I am just doing a little bit of practice. I don't get much practice really. I just kind of do a class. So when you do a yoga class, and then you don't end up doing any of your own practice because you're doing your yoga classes. As I said, I work nine till five now because my studio had to close. So I work nine till five in a proper job. I'm coaching people back into work when they've lost their jobs because of COVID. Kind of ironic really, isn't it? I um, have about 30 years in recruitment, so. And I always liked that bit of coaching people. Probably why I've become a teacher. <laughs> um, yeah, I always liked that little bit of coaching people. I'm just going to try and find split in this again. Um, so for me, it's kind of apt. <laughs> coaching people back into work from losing their job because of COVID. Yeah. So I'd like to do their CVs and tell them how to do an interview, how to get a job, what to look for, keywords, how to promote themselves on social media, that type of thing, get themselves so that they're marketing their own selves. Um, and then, uh, so I do that nine to five, Monday to Friday. <laughs> and then I do my classes, Monday and Wednesdays, bar fitness. Um, and then Tuesday and Thursday is the Yoga to Please class. And uh, Friday, I do a stretch class. It's on Zoom live, or you can uh, do it uh, on replay because not everybody wants to work like an idiot like I do. <laughs> okay, I have no choice. I've got a mortgage to pay for five years. Divorces, um, yeah, plurals, divorces. My first divorce. I was married to him for 16 years, would you believe? Um, and I just realised one day this man doesn't love you while he's spending his time with him. And uh, I didn't want to get to my next big birthday, uh, for being a young girl meeting him when I was 14, and uh, not having that support or love that I wanted. Um, and then I very quickly got married again to an idiot. I was only with him for six months married. He um, was horribly told people that I beat him up, which is really crazy. 
Um, I'd had the police out two or three times because he smashed my house up. Um, he grabbed my son and threw him from one chair to another. And that for me was, you know, you know, for me that was, I don't want my children seeing this. And he was out the door, I told him I'd leave on the Tuesday, and by the Tuesday I'd left. Um, and the way he treated us very bad. Um, you know, you, you don't need that in your life, you don't need people to treat you badly. But if they do, get out. And not everybody can, I understand that. Um, as soon as you can, get yourself out. And that's what I did. And it was hard, but you have to look after your children. And that's it, and yourself. Um, so, so yeah, so I ended up with a lot of debt. He stole guns from me, and he gambled money, he hit money, um, stole my children's iPads, and just a horrible, horrible experience. Um, your best out of that rather than stay in it rather than have somebody who's not good for you and yeah so for that reason i have a lot of debt that i'm catching up on yay i'm there guys um, a lot of debt that i'm catching up on <laughs> I had a year where i had a fantastic wage and then i had a horrible time i had a breakdown and the people I didn't treat me very well. Um, I had no clue what I was doing in that job because I just, it was like it organically grew into being a manager of a team I knew nothing about. And I don't do bad attorney, it's very bad for um, me. So I had a great job for a year, money wise, job itself was awful. Um, and now I have this fantastic new job where I coach people mentally uh, through getting themselves back into work. And then I have my coaching physically, being a teacher and getting people back in shape. So if you ever want to have a chat about your mental health and your fitness health, like I said, I've got a Facebook page, which is, um, it's a group, sorry. It's uh, people's, uh, I'll, put it, I'll put it in there, I'll put it in the comments. And uh, all I ask is, is that you look at my other videos, you do like and you subscribe, and that you share, and that you tell people to come and um, watch me. And I promise you when I do a lesson, you have a look at the lessons, they are very structured. That was just me practicing my splits, getting into my splits at my ripe old age. So thank you very much, guys. And you take care of yourself. Oh, and on the relationship front, I have an absolutely amazing boyfriend. We do annoy each other and we do shout at each other. And we are a normal couple, um, but he's amazing. Amazing. He doesn't live with me yet. He will do one day. Um, but yeah, I'm very lucky. I am very, very lucky. So don't think it's ever over for you. It isn't, it's there. You just need to be in the right place to find the right person, the right energy, the right life, the right everything for yourself. And I'm gonna put all my cat stuff back now for my cats, because they have a little cat bed and a little cat house and they've got a radiator in here that goes on at night. And uh, you take care of yourselves. And thanks very much. Bye.